I was watching the like that do a lot of uh, soap like fighting and stuff like that and doing bit and pieces. <laughs> but I was watching a lot of um, as, uh, on YouTube as well, see some knockout, you know, some a lot of people knock out in MMA. <laughs> yeah. You know, last time we talked about this Wing Chun stuff and get some knockout. That's right. I go online and have a look at it and you know, you see a lot of um, uh, stuff on the YouTube that the MMA get knockout and stuff like that. Mm. It's quite nasty. I don't know, Joe, you promoting this kind of thing. What do you think? All this kind of knockout <laughs> happening. Well, first of all, do, do you do anything? You do, do, do you do anything except YouTube? Do you do you oh, ever I get? Do, a, do, do you get off of it? Yeah, I do many things, but I know. But you've been YouTube you've well. been been watching the MMA I, knockouts. Yes, he does, he doesn't do many there's many so things. many great knockouts though. Isn't it, 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 there's it, so right. so many. Which, we we were talk, we were talking earlier, and uh, for me, I think the most ferocious the you most the most ferocious knockout. Rob needs to get on the ball. All right. Yeah, but hey, listen, don't it's, talk it's, about we've got new ball. mics. Robert's got new mics. He's got lights in. Lights. The productions, you know, the levels is is raising. Don't, don't come you, on, Robert. Put your finger out. Well, come on, son. Quick, you know, it's already told. Reply Robert. on some knockouts Rob, on. Um, he's, 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 yeah, get nice. it up, Rob. Okay. Get it up, son. <laughs> Rob's getting it up again. Well, so no, we were we, we we talking earlier on uh, Wong with uh, Joel. For me, the biggest knockout for me. Unfortunately, it was Michael Bisping and, and Dan Henderson. You know, that was a ferocious knockout that and is, uh, scary, that scary is, knockout. Uh, while, while he's down, did, can we get that one up? The, 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 it's funny, you know, because that, that was one of the first, like, real MMA fight. Like, I hadn't really been following MMA that hard before that. You know, I've been to a lot of shows and, and I, 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 I call them shows, domestic shows, lower level than the UFC. Sure. And when I watched that, that, there, like that, that really got me. Use MMA, yeah, yeah, Cage Rage, exactly. Cage Warriors, exactly. All of those so shows and so there. forth. That, they introduced me to the sport, to be fair. Um, big up Ray from, from Use MMA. Um, but, but, but that knockout, when I saw that, what was that, UFC 100? Was it 100? Oh, was it, was it 100? Yeah. Wasn't it wrong? That's what marked it for me. See, Rob's on the ball now. Yeah, he is, he is, he is. Yeah. A, what, 100. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Man, I mean. You, you tried to be smart there, didn't you? <laughs> 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 but yeah, that, was, that was that was the knockout of all knockout. I actually don't think it was fair. I don't think it was right. I think that somebody should have called nine 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 or nine one one. Got Dan Henderson nicked because it was it was assault. I know you put yourself in the octagon to get assaulted, but that was wrong and broken. Well, it can it can get fixed in a few weeks. Can't well, it? He, Michael, you owe him one, mate. That's all I'm saying. You owe him one or two because well, he knocked you out and then he knocked you out again. I don't even know if that's possible. Is it? I don't know because one. Well, of you them, should know because you do Wing Chun and yeah. teach people, and you've been watching it all. Yeah, should because, know. Uh, if you're watching one of them guy, one of the guy mm. on uh, on on their fighting, and they get knocked so many times, mm. get knocked out, bash him up, knock I him up, and they wait up again, get knocked out again, yeah. wait up again, get knocked out. Again. Which one is check, that? Check, check Congo. That's it. Yeah, check Congo like warrior. He got Flipping. he got knocked out and then yeah, come then back up again. Knock yeah. out, knock. that's a crazy goddamn knockout that is. You know, should that fight have been stopped though? Uh, you got to give him a bit of chance to, to get up and fight again because it's, if, you, if you hit him, he fall down. It didn't mean they got knockout knock out right away. He didn't you know mean what I mean? To get no, he didn't mean to get knocked Yeah, but I <laughs> you know it didn't mean get a knockout. But he went up again. He knocked the guy out, didn't he? He did, he did. He, did, he, he knocked did. him out, put him in the pocket. He did. He did. Yeah. He used some of that Congo power. Yeah, and there was a lot of power there. There was a lot so, of power. So, in the top 10, if you think about into the knockout side on the MMA, which one is really, really made you think? Bloody hell, that hurt, you know. Mm. I'm not going to be part of that thing, but I mean, mm. that is really hurt. Yeah, no, MMA knockouts, I, I, you can sit on online for hours just, just watching MMA knockouts and going, oh. I mean, there's that classic one where two fighters knock each other out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the classic, uh, and I mean, then. Who won that fight? No one ever says who asked who won. The fight. Nobody can win because all the both got so what is it? Is it, is it a draw or a loss then? I couldn't, no one ever said. Uh, I'm asking, I'm asking. I, 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 you I know, know. Rub, it. Would the two beat, knock each other out at that the same two time? Coming punch I believe that would be a draw. It's a, bit, so. it's a draw, yeah? A bit, bit rocky so than that, Apollo so, Creed. It's a draw. Yeah. What about who's that? Um, your last true. MMA, one is a guy, um, after, well, I don't know which one is it now. He got him into the uh, joke and then he grabbed him and slammed him straight down. Quinn and Jackson. That Rampage. Rampage. Oh, Rampage. Yeah. Oh, that, that man, was his move, that though, is, uh, That's a proper. And then on, a, on another uh, UFC one, one's a big two. Grab hold, I don't know which one, that punch on the neck. Remember that one? Tank Abbott. Yeah, Tank Abbott. That Tank not... Abbott was a beast. He, yeah, Absolute but, beast. Yeah. I mean, that guy gonna mess up neck. He was, I mean, he was just folded up on the yeah, side of the cage. Yeah, done. Yeah. And then, Showroom. What's that one that he could get uh, one of the big two or, um, and then it got down the ground and then elbow him? He, uh, 
uh, uh, that's an old UFC one. Grab him, lock him up onto the um, uh, what is it, it was is it a loaded elbow? Uh, uh, crucifix, and then just load him with an elbow oh, in the yeah, face, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, was... I mean, he come out like. I mean, it's like, fucking, I don't know how much you want to pay them, but I don't think I want to be like a garbage like that, man. It's, it's, it's fucked up, isn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's messed up, but there's a lot of them out there. There's a, there's a heap of them out but there. But the thing about if it, if it's get locked out like that, effect they will get afterward, what do you think the effects of their mind get afterward? I mean... Wong, have you been locked out before? Uh, not, this is a... No, not never. Not not Have yet. You been knocked out, Joe? Uh, not yet. Not fucking will be. Touch, touch wood, man. <laughs> you never been knocked out. Never. You never been knocked out. No, no. I've been, I've been knocked out still. Have you really? Yeah. Is somebody knocked you out? No, I knocked myself out. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I tried to do an overhead kick and I missed the ball. And knock yourself oh, out. Oh really? Yeah, I hit the ground and I knocked myself out. Yeah, that's the only time I've been close. And the thing is, I didn't even know. It wasn't even, seriously, I didn't is even know. Is it blank out? I, then... No, I was out. I was out for the count. I could hear people. Obviously, this is how I know I was knocked out, innit? Because I could hear people talking and they were saying, Trick, get out and get back and cover. And because I, I was a defender, I shouldn't even have been anywhere near the, the goal, the opposing goal, that is. And uh, the ball come over and I don't know what I was thinking. But I thought, I can do it. I can. And I went to over and kick it, like, you know, Pele with all the... <laughs> Panache locks when and then knock out. And then I missed the ball and and landed bang, knocked myself out. Can't cast saw stars. Got up about I don't know how long later and uh, everyone was standing over me like you alright? I was like, yeah, cool, it's cool, somewhere, right? and it was mad. I was only on the ground for a couple of little while and I was like, no, 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 you didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've been knocked out, but um I'd never repeated that experience. No? Nah. So, not by uh, fighting. But if you uh, you interview quite a lot of people, when they mm. get knocked out, yeah, mm. did you ask them what happened? Did, did ask him yeah, next day? I, I, mean, what, I mean, I, next I, day. What happened next day? No, I've never asked him what happened the next day. More often than not, when I interview people that have been knocked out, they always no one really wants to talk about it. Well, no, of course they don't. Oh, no, they, don't, they forget no. about it because yeah. of the knockout. They, they did, forget they about it. They, they've, been, they've been training for the last three or four yeah. months for that one night, yeah. And you know their their aspirations and their dreams to go Just, further in their career is yeah. it's ended. It's, it ended. Yeah. It's yeah. over. Well, so you've got you've got you've got to take you know three steps back. Reset and go again. Yeah, so, so they never really want to talk about it. They always want to kind of. I mean, knockouts can happen to anyone, innit? but they always want to just kind of. But yeah, must must be messed up your brain, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. Really, of course fuck it up does. Your brain, brain has to move. I, I, I think, well, what's the actual? I, I does think, anyone know uh, the actual equation of a knockout? No, I, I think that uh, the scientific reports yeah. is that there, there's it's more problematic a number of hits to the head mm. rather than the knockout. So a series of concussions, then. Right. A, a series mm. of hits. Mm. I know there was obviously that film on concussion, wasn't yeah, there, about sure. American, American football, football yeah, yeah, sure. which was a great film. Mm. Uh, and, and there's been a lot of uh, a lot of research in America to concussions within American I'll football. Tell you, what I want to kind of talk about knockouts to today. Um, is our guest, our main interview, Chi Lewis Perry. Perry, sorry. Yeah. Um, he's going to come on. He's a stand-up fighter who is making you know great waves in glory. Joe, you know a bit about him. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I know a little bit about him. Yeah, talk to. Him. I mean, you promoted glory, haven't you? We have promoted glory. We've done the London show uh, at Excel. Was that their only London back. show? It's the only one they've done, yeah. Right, okay. Maybe they'll come back. Apparently mm. they've got a bit of money in the in the bank at the moment. New investors. Some new investors. Some Chinese investors. Chinese. Yeah. The Chinese got so much money now, man. Why? Yeah. Why? What's Because you're on YouTube because all the time. Quantitative yeah. easing. <laughs> I think the Chinese have worked got them too much, you know, yeah. worked too hard. Why have they got so much money? Because the Chinese, they always like to hold on to the money. They don't want to spend, you know? Well, That's true. where Chinese well, are in England. They bloody build a power station, isn't it? Yeah. The Chinese come over, right. but the bloody British don't like it. You know why? why? Because they're thinking that the power are like nuclear power. So yeah. it's all this bullshit, you know what no, I mean? No, 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 no. Nuclear, the whole argument around nuclear power is not bullshit. Do you know how long it takes to break down nuclear waste? I haven't got a clue. 250 years. 250,000 years. But what other way can you do it? Uh, there, well, let's do it in a way that's not going to kill the planet. But mm. we digress. Yeah, we, <laughs> we digress. We've gone off on one there. Yeah, we have, we have. So glory. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. Glory. <laughs> Chai Lewis Perry. Yeah, no, he's an yeah. English fighter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, surprisingly, not from London. He trains and with a big old UFC champion, doesn't he? Uh, Daniel Cormier. He does. Yeah. But, but, but the thing with, with Chai, he's quite exciting as a fighter. Stand up fighter. He's, he's had some amazing knockouts. Yeah, he's, 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 he's had a lot of fights. He's an exciting stand up fighter. 4 1 0. But Daniel's not. 
Daniel's not exciting. No, he's not. Oh, come on. You, you don't like him where you're fighting? I don't, I don't, he's not exciting. No, it's not exciting. Did you see any Daniel Cormier knockouts on, on, on your show reel? Yeah, yeah. He, he do quite a few, yeah. No Especially and slam him down and stuff like that. He do quite a lot of them. He's kind of hugging things. people to death and I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm really he's a wrestler, not. isn't he? Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Anyway, that. we're not talking about him. Forget him. No, true. But we're the fact that Chai, I want to know if Chai is going to explain the reason why Daniel. Because you're exciting. I mean, the training must be exciting. I'd imagine the sparring sessions are exciting. I'd imagine, you know, the stuff behind the scenes is quite exciting. But then Daniel, I mean, I know Daniel does what he has to do to win fights and all the rest of it. But you'd think he'd add a bit to his arsenal, you know, add something to, to the stand up game. Yeah, but he's a that wrestler. I thought maybe said, try. Didn't yeah, but so what? Add something to your game, fella. And, and be prepared to beat John because yes. he's going to wipe the floor with him. Let's get him on the phone and see what he's saying. We'll do that. We'll do that in a couple of weeks. Do that in a couple of weeks. Chai, um, yeah, for those who don't know, uh, was born here in the UK. He's one of ours. He's one of our own. Uh, he's got a title fight coming up soon. Um, I really want to know what he's got to say about that. So, uh, without further ado, let's let's cut to the end. As usual, uh, the combat strength podcast. We have five. Bit of tips. Uh, this week we are going to have them presented to us by Nikki Jenkins from Liverpool. Round of applause for Nikki Jenkins. Hey. Welcome to the show. What's up, Nikki? I'm good, thank you. Are you? Uh, Nikki, you know, you're following on from a couple of uh, fitness gurus who have provided us with some great tips and information on how to stay healthy. I'm going to count you in in a second and we're going to go through your five. Before we go into your five tip tips, Nikki, do you want to tell us a bit about yourself and tell our listeners and viewers a little bit about where they can follow okay. you and find out more about what you, uh, what you do? Yeah, I'm um, a professional bikini athlete, so I compete with a federation of bikini athletes. and look good at the same time. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's oh, right. I love it. That's good. <laughs> All right, love it. Don't worry, we're working on one fiction. Don't worry, by the time we get to episode 30, we'll be speaking a lot clearer, uh, and my Cantonese will be a bit as well. That's right. Yeah, yeah. here we go. Um, right, Nikki, let's go in. Um, let's, start, let's start with number five. Right, I'd say definitely number one, you need to have a goal. So you need to have something that you can aim for and something to keep you going every day. Because sometimes first everyone's excited when they first start, but that can quickly wear off with whatever you're doing. So it's nice to have a goal. I'd say number two, I'd say you need to prepare stuff. So you need to actually have a plan. So you can't just have a goal with no plan. You have to go into it and actually know what you're going to do each day. Prepare your food if it's necessary. Your training, whichever it is, to keep you going. I'd say the third one is that you've got to be consistent. So you can't do it one day and not another. If you're committed to it, you've just got to keep going and you get the best results that way. For the fourth, I'd say that you need to enjoy it. So you need to choose something that you enjoy. Once it becomes a chore, it's no good and you're not going to get fit like that. And the fifth one, I'd say that you need to be proud of yourself for every little bit of your achievements, even until you reach your goal, so that you can still find something to inspire you to keep moving forward with it. But that's all I'd say that's my top five. Fantastic. Thanks, Nicky. Really appreciate that. You're the first person to count yourself in. Um, but that's all right. Yeah. It's not a problem. We'll probably adopt that strategy moving forward. It probably works a little bit better, to be honest with that. Um, <laughs> really, really appreciate that. I can't love the last one. Love... The thing can't yeah. <laughs> love the last one as well. Yeah. Um, which was to, to be proud of every achievement that you that you make. I think that's really important, you know, because I don't I don't, yeah. I don't really make too many achievements in the gym. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be proud of that from now on. <laughs> I'm trying to say. But listen, thank you for, for your time, Nikki. We hope to have you back on soon. Um, and in a couple of episodes time we'll probably come and try and find you, see if we can do a little video with you to 
you know, do something a bit more interactive with some of our viewers. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. You are for that? Good. When, when, when the Combat Strength podcast hits the road, goes on tour, we'll be, we'll be sure to look you up in Liverpool, but for that, back to you, time, I really appreciate that. All right, no problem. Thank you. Cheers, yeah. Nicky. Catch, catch you soon. Thanks, big thanks to uh, Nikki Jenkins for uh, you know those five fit tips. Really, really valuable fit tips. To be honest with you, even though it doesn't look like it on me, but in about four or five episodes time, you'll see the difference. What they want? Yes, you will do some fitness. Yeah, I sound like I, sound like I have to. Don't I? It doesn't really sound like I'm, you know I've got a choice. You will do some fitness. You will do some oh, fitness. All right, all right. Some fit. oh, all right, nice one. I will. Okay. I will. I will. I will do the fitness. But thank you. Nikki, what, uh, what, what I want to know, I know you're thanking her. Yeah. You're probably going to thank her about ten times. I uh, what? Like you, you thanked Claire ten times. Yes, yes. But you only thanked Noel yes. once. Once. But Noel don't mind. Noel don't mind, and the girls know that I've got. I've got, I've got paid special attention to the ladies. I have to. You're a ladies' man. I am a ladies' man. You know, I've got. You wouldn't have any other way. Listen, let me ask you a question. Go on. Because we all get massages in here, don't we? Including Rob. <laughs> we, all, we all enjoy a massage, isn't it? Do you prepare? Do you, do you no a massage, massage. Yeah, massage? You know, like you get your shoulders are tight. Yeah. Do you prefer a man or a woman to massage? It doesn't bother me. Does it not? What about you? Um, I think woman better. Yeah, I, listen, looking. I'm with you. I'm with, I'm, I'm, I'm with my love. I don't want no man kneading into me and putting their thumbs in the back. So I've got to pay special attention to the. the Personal training, so, so females. In all Big up all the man them that do it. Great, you know what I mean. That's all I'm gonna do. It's gonna be up uh, once. And uh, but so, then, so, but then, so listen, let's saying, focus. Let's focus so, so, on what matters. Like, have you seen Nikki Jenkins? Have you seen her? What do you mean? Of course, I've seen. Well, her. then you know that we should be focusing on how uh, much longer <laughs> than, 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 than you know. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> no, I love you to bits, but just nowhere near as much. Okay then. So who would who would in a competition? See, look, he wants to move us on. You know what I mean, moving on to the competitions. Competition. I'm, I'm thanking Nikki Jenkins. Again, okay. I want to thank Nikki Jenkins. No, 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 let's move on to the competition. Maxi Muscle, is that what you're talking yeah, about? Muscle, and the yeah. winner is the winner. Da, 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 da. Justin Brown. Brown. Justin Brown. Hit us up on uh, combatandstrength.com, and. Uh, Justin, you're going to be getting an email from us, and it's your choice of products, £250 worth courtesy. Well done, Justin. It was that oh so difficult question from Wong. Oh, it was so it was so hard. It, it was so that, terrible. It was that oh so de- you know you know how many rounds is a is a championship boxing bout? How many rounds? You don't know. It was your round. Yeah, you're twelve rounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you know. It's so simple and. Oh God. I'm glad we, you know. We, we had a few. Uh, Could you go twelve rounds of a Wing Chun fight? 12 three minute rounds. Do you think it would happen? No, Wing Chun don't last 12 rounds because they're quick and fast. So in 12 it. seconds. Uh, if Wing Chun fight, they normally fight very quick. Yeah? Yeah. Somebody gets finished. Somebody somebody will get finished. Okay. Either Wing Chun guy or someone else. Somebody See, I don't finished. know why it's not made more, there isn't more of a spectacle. Joe, you should do it. Promote the Wing Chun show. Although, you'd have to put a lot of fights on because it sounds like they'll be over quick. Yeah. yeah. Have we got that many Wing Chun fighters? Uh, I don't know. If you were to put together a top 10 Wing Chun fighters in this country, could you do it? Maybe, if you look around, yeah, yeah. maybe. Would they fight each other? Uh, they will be look crap. Yeah. yeah, they will be. They don't look very good. They've got to find different discipline, different yeah. people to make it look good. To make it look good. Yeah. Uh, they we'll fight their own same one. They're all going to be, it's going to look very terrible. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll have to talk about, uh, talk about that in the next show, maybe. Yeah, Literally definitely. talk about mixed martial arts. Like. Yeah, that's what is it. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed martial arts. That's exactly what it is. Listen, I wanna I wanna thank everyone that um, came on the show this week. Uh Nikki Jenkins, I'll start with you for your five fit oh tips. My God, he's um, again. Check out Nikki Jenkins if you you know if you can find her. Uh and I wanna I wanna really thank Chai Lewis Perry as well because you know he's a, he's a fighter I think he's quite exciting. Very exciting. Obviously Joe knows all about him. Now so do our listeners and our viewers. Um what did, what did you make of some of the things he had to say? Well, were, you, were you quite... Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very interesting, interesting guy. Quite very calm and cool, isn't he? He seems like yeah. it. And it seems like if you press the wrong buttons, he might punch yeah, but you like in the anything. face. I mean, it's like anything. If you go around and say the wrong thing or somebody don't, you get smacked in the face. That's real, isn't it? Including John Joe. <laughs> Including John Joe. Including John Joe. They've got a tongue in his mouth. Yeah. Um, listen, thanks to all our viewers, listeners, for tuning in to the third ever uh, Combat and Strength podcast. We'll be back 
in a week's it's time. Been, it's been emotional. <laughs> it's been combat and strength. It's been Campbell. Wong and Long. What's? What's?